So you really have to ask yourself the question before you buy this is one, how much money do I wanna spend? Two, is being environmentally friendly important? And three, what kind of yoga practice do I do? It's always important for me to get the negative out of the way first, so I'm gonna list the cons of the foam, then the cork yoga blocks, followed by the pros. So the cons of the foam yoga block are one, it's not as eco-friendly, but if you look on some websites such as Hugger Mugger, their foam yoga blocks are made from recycled materials. The foam is not as durable as the cork. And depending on your preference or what kind of yoga practice you're doing, the foam is a little bit more squishy than the cork. Now the three cons of the cork yoga blocks are, if you do a uh, restorative yoga practice, they can be a little bit uncomfortable because they are a firmer block. They more expensive. You will quickly see when you're searching around on various websites such as Hugger Mugger or, or Manduka Yoga that the cork yoga block price point is higher. And they're also heavy. So if you're traveling, or if you don't strictly practice yoga at home and you're traveling around to yoga classes, you just might not wanna carry all of that weight in your book bag. Now that the negative is out of the way, let's move along to the pros. The number one pro of foam is it's just affordable. So for me, I'm just a regular person and I don't have tons of money to spend on stuff. So price is important to me. In my opinion, foam is more comfortable, especially if you're doing a restorative yin or type of practice. Lightweight, so the blocks are easy to travel with. Like if you are going to the park and you wanna bring your yoga blocks or to a class, like if you just don't like using the studios or they don't offer, uh, this props in studio, it's not gonna weigh you down. And in my opinion, the foam actually have less slippage. I place a high value on that because your girl has super sweaty palms. Now on to the pros of cork. The cork yoga blocks are eco-friendly. The cork yoga block is super durable and long lasting. And myself personally, I really like the cork yoga block for balance type poses. So if you stand on your yoga block, I feel very supported. Or sometimes a foam block can be a little squishy. Have you ever, for example, have you ever gone to a yoga class and you stepped onto a foam block and you're like, I think I'm sinking into this pose. And you're like, that's not what I want. I want to be extremely supported. So you really have to ask yourself the question before you buy this is one, how much money do I want to spend? Two, is being environmentally friendly important to me? And three, what kind of yoga practice do I do? Everybody is different. So depending on your needs and the type of your yoga practice that you do will help decide whether to buy a cork yoga block or a foam yoga block. So I have both. They both serve their purpose. So let me know, which one are you going to go with? Thanks and have an awesome day. Bye.